Unity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 6 Settings and More Manipulation of Text In this lesson we'll look at 1. Document Setup from the Splash Screen 2. Change Document Setup inside the app 3. Change the font, font size and style of text 4. Manipulate the colours of the text and 5. Introducing use of typography tools. This is Tony at Tony's Music and Administrator Doodly and Tunely PNGs. Welcome to the Beginners Tutorials for Affinity Designer Lesson 6. Um, I'm going to start off with a new document in A4 Landscape. But before I continue, what I want to just say is just check out the settings on here. If you need to change them, you can change them. There's uh, your colour settings your document unit settings whether it's millimeters pixels or whatever change them on here if you can if you can't don't worry about it there's another way to change them once you get on to the uh, document that you've done already right so let's create the document and I'll show you how that works say you're busy doing your work you have putting on uh, say a rectangle tool like that, and you change the color things like that um, as you can see the rectangular tools got the fill there and different things here that's all to do with the rectangular tool there right now you just realized you've got the wrong size page or different um, orientation wanted landscape you wanted portrait instead of landscape whatever it doesn't matter which right um, okay so what do you do first of all you deselect what's selected which is your rectangle then you click on the move tool once you do that it comes up with no selection there document set up there and preferences the document settings are there that's your document setup right so you can change your document setup to uh, instead of being print to photo web devices presets whatever you want right and you can change your document units there and you can change the risk the objects from rescale to anchor to a page uh, any of those directions that are there look so you can have them have it anchored to the middle anchor to the left corner right corner the middle of the top whatever you know if you want to I'll just leave it as rescale at the moment but you can do any of those things you've got your colour your margins your bleed there as well so you can change them you can also change the dimensions there because it's not locked if you click on the locked it will be locked so you know nobody will be able to change it but if, if you have it open like that you can change the dimensions if you wish right that's what you can do with the document settings now the preferences this is to do with the app itself so you can change your color, color orientation your general settings which you, gives you a lot of different things there you can read them through when you get a chance and if you need to change any of them do so but be careful what you're doing right uh, performance is basically the performance what it uses on your computer your RAM your video card and everything like that and how much it uses of the specific resources for your PC basically right user interface is the actual um, setting as it is uh, whether you want dark or light you can have it light like that if you want to which is a bit glary for me so I'm going to put it back to dark but you can do that sort of thing right you got you got things like that right then you go back off the user settings go on to tools this is the tools that are available to you on there you can change them make them larger or smaller and things like that if you want to and move the aspect constraints for the tools as well things like that if you need to but you have to restart your app to do that to change them these sort of things so if you need to do that you can do that as required then you got your keyboard shortcuts if you want to create new keyboard shortcuts so change these ones you do it here and then you've got miscellaneous there which resets everything if you click on reset for the things you that you want to reset this is the place to go okay right now I've done that I'm just gonna get rid of that rectangle by uh, clicking on it and go to edit delete and I want to go to the artistic text tool 
and as you see when I go on the artistic text tool the line up there changes to all the artistic text tool um, properties that you might be able to change right now I'm going to put some of it in here for us to use with the text tool Whoops. So, oh we've just gone off the edge right now before I do anything if I try moving like this I can uh, do some cause some bother but you're lucky if you get the cross edge you can do it but sometimes it you you get if you try to do that you'll select part of it and you could damage your actual text right so I usually use the move tool instead and move it about with the move tool because it's safer right but if you want to go back onto the text itself say you want to select part of it and change it you have to do that right by double clicking inside to get that line that's flashing and then you can drag across to what you want to select right okay so I've selected Tony's on there now I can change the font of the Tony's to whatever I want by because it's selected by just going along the font choices that are there right R the regular style is what's on so if I wanted to change the style I could change the style just like that and it's only Tony's that is changing not Business Academy right because then that's selected now it's not selected I'll try using the font again what happens nothing right if I try regular and change that to something else it won't do anything because it's nothing selected right so you've got to select it um, you can change the font size this way but it'll only do the one that's selected right okay and you can change the bold and that on it if you've got the box selected it'll change that because that's selected that was last selection wasn't it that's why it's doing that one right so if I click on that like that and do that alright so if you haven't got it all selected it won't change it all so select it all there you go that's better and then there you go right uh, as well as that you've got your rectangular area here, which is the colour so you can change it to a gradient if you want to by clicking on the gradient and then that'll be like that at the moment it's a gradient that's going white to black you can change it to a different color by clicking on the actual one that you want it to change and then change it to red or whatever color you want and change the other one to a different color like blue yeah so you could and then you could slide that across the slider there so how much you wanted on the one side and how much you want the other side according to what you want or you can add other circles by clicking on it and then you click the circle that you want to change the colour of if you need to and change that one to yellow and change this one by clicking on that one to purple yeah so there you got um, a display of different colours there um, if you want to change it back or you decided you didn't like it and you want something different so you want to reverse it to the other way around just click on the reverse there and reverse it back or you could click on colour say you decided you don't want it and you wanted something different so you just want purple for example you just click on the colour or you can click on switches, swatches and uh, a colour on swatches like the light, light blue there right as well as that you've got um, on that you've got gradient you've got opacity on the colour and gradient you have got opacity on them but you haven't got gradient on the swatches as well as that you've got um, different choices like the pantones and things like that here so you can have a pantone colours things like that if you want to for the swatches on there and you can use those as needed for what you need okay so that's that right um, as well as that 
I think there's something else on there I ain't said. Oh no. That's okay. Yeah, it's not that. Uh, next, we come up to the character styles. What I need to do is click on a piece for the character styles. And this is not the same as the font style, it's a character style, right? Uh, it's It looks the same though. Because you've got like ones that look like italics, then you've got one that looks like it's um, bold, stuff like that. But it's just emphasis, right? Emphasis and strong right and you've got a, a chance to make your own new style if you want to there but you can go through all that I'm not going to go through that on this particular um, lesson and you've got this characters here so you can click on that and you get the character set up you can change the the font for a particular piece that you've selected um, and you can change its font style you can also click on the background and change the background that's that one the background right so you can change the background to different colors if you need to we ain't done it this time oh we changed selected that's why you, you gotta have it selected that's the thing I, I keep forgetting that right and then you got your emphasis as well you could add an emphasis if it's selected select it again so you got your character style you can change it that way you can build an emphasis on it and you can have it as italic on your font style as well so once you change your character style it changes your font style as well right on here though you've got decorations which is underline which you if you go on there you can underline it you can double underline it you can change the underline to a different color like that right you can also if I pick I'll select a different one strike through a double strike through and change the color of the strike through so you can have that in say yellow for example if you wanted to right then you've also got if I select townies now you have also got the chance to put a line on around your text however you want it so you can have a text line like that right with this you can also change the color you can also add a gradient to it so you can now start it off with going yellow at the one area and say red at this end if I can get red on red like that. so you can have it like that right so and you can also change the opacity of the actual line if you want to so you can change it so it's going a bit slight amount of red or very bold red to a slight as you can see can you see that and that's working and that's just on the border of the actual text so you can use that and you can reverse that as well okay if you want to right so that's very useful stuff you've also got the ability to do um, other things with it like say you can you can stretch out your particular word if you want to or make it narrower as you need to by clicking on this one this is the VA like that space in between and if you get the if you get the option to do it you can change the kerning as necessary uh, at the moment it's not allowing me to do it but if you get it on a particular point you with with specific kind of character set you can get it to change the kerning if you want to if you do doing your own characters or something you know say you're doing some typography yourself uh, or you make your own style you can change the kerning then hopefully and be able to change the 
the, the space between the inside of the actual say the N for example you can make the N wider or something by clicking on that one um, you can also change the height by this one here how high it is on the page compared to the other words right in in the actual text box that it's in um, this one is for when you're doing a proper what is it that one where you, there the frame text tool and you've got loads of text on you can use that to I think space between them I think I'm not sure but I think that's the space between them it, it uh, gives you the space between two lines and stuff like that it makes it bigger or smaller according to what you want um, this one is the orientation of the italic I think you can make it more italic or not that way like that. yeah okay and this one is widens it a lot widens it a bit there you go like that that's another way of doing it and that takes you takes your text up and down that way as well right so you can do it that way and then you've got your superscript and your subscript on there can do that and you got other typography abilities on here I like can change it different parts different elements of it to do different things and you can see what's happening there like that right I'll give you different choices of what you want to do let's take that off put that on take that off take that off now take that on go and see what's happening with that one okay uh, and then you've got your language there you can change your language uh, and you can use like, different hyphenations typography scripts and things like that so that's all that there you can do that and then the optical alignment you can change the optical alignment on there as well right so that's important for if you want to do proper typography you can change everything to do with that um, I hope this has been useful to you and I hope you find it's uh, great for doing whatever you need to do for your business or for your logos and that you can change a lot of things that with this and uh, if I miss anything please let me know um, I hope you've enjoyed it so far you've got other things along here which I will continue with next time I haven't got time to uh, do any more now I've run out of time so please like and subscribe to townish music if you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you on the next tutorial as soon as i can all right thank you